Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ray Fetty, and I'm coming back with another video. You did about to drop that heat one more time. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, if you're new to my channel, you never seen me before, you never seen any of my videos, man. Where you been? That don't even matter now. You made it here. I'm glad that you're here. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that subscribe button because right now, right now, bro, I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers and I'm pushing it, I'm getting very close. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Support the journey that I'm on, man. I, I, I appreciate y'all for all of the love and the support that y'all been giving me, all the feedback y'all been giving me. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. But let's dive straight into it, man. I want to talk about how you can really just take control over a woman's mind and how you can manipulate a woman's mind. And I don't mean it in a sinister way. And when I give you these tips and these tricks, you know what I'm saying? I don't want you to use it in an evil, sinister way. You know what I'm saying? I want you to use it in the best way as possible. Now, at the end of the day, women want to be manipulated. As bad as it sounds, that's just the way that that's just the way that it is. Like point blank period. Like they want to be controlled. They want to be manipulated. Like they don't want a nigga that's not gonna control them. Women want to be controlled. You dig what I'm saying? Like this some real nigga shit. Like. Fuck all that, oh, he's too controlling. I don't wanna be with him, he's too controlling. Fuck all that shit. Now, when I say be controlling, I mean like be controlling, but don't be overly controlling to where you super security guard mode and you bodyguard and you monitoring and you putting goddamn cameras in her goddamn car unknowingly and you watching her unknowingly. And you doing like, that's controlling. When I say control, I mean like you dictating for her, you dictating decisions, and I'm gonna talk about it, I'm gonna talk about it, I'm gonna get into detail about it, but first, you have to understand a woman's mind, bro, um, you have to understand that women really can't make, women really can't make, it's crazy how, like, when I start making videos, like, activity just start happening around me, that shit weird, but women can't really make decisions on their own, you know what I'm saying, like, they don't have the they don't have this feature that exists in their brain to where they can make choices, conclusions, or decisions on their own. You know what I'm saying? Once you understand that, once you understand the fact that women really can't make choices and shit on their own, then you'll be able to make women do the things that you want them to do and that you need them to do for you. Like women are very fickle-minded and women are very indecisive. Like They'll say one thing, and then they'll say the complete opposite. They'll be like, well, I like him because of this reason, and I like him because of this reason, but I don't like him because he does this. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll come up with a million reasons as to why they fuck with you, and then they'll come up with a million reasons as to why they don't fuck with you. Like, it's just women are kind of like, they, they hot and they cold, and they real indecisive. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. The way that they're haywired is different, bro. I really can't explain it because I'm not a woman. I can't understand that shit, but it's hard for them to think in higher terms, too. Because if you really think about it, bro, like, women have never really been put in, like, superior positions. Like, for example, like, when it comes to politics, bro, I really don't really get into politics for my own personal reasons, but you ain't never seen a woman become a president of the United States, and you never will, because women are emotional creatures. They're, they're, they live their life based off of feelings, off of their emotions, right? And us men, we live off of logic. We think logically, you know what I'm saying? We, we don't think with our hearts, we think with our minds. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's hard for them to think on higher terms and to think logical. So, for example, like, let's say you with your chick, you know what I'm saying? And you ask her, what you want to eat? She going to say, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You be like, well, let's go here. She be like, oh, uh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit like that. Like, women are indecisive about a lot of things. So when it comes to, like, you asking her what to eat, all that type of shit, cut that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, it's cool for you to be considerate, you know what I'm saying, to ask her, 
you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what you want to eat, what you want to drink, shit like that. But majority of the time, cut that shit out. Don't even ask her. Take the initiative on your own to basically pick pick and choose to where y'all want to eat it and, and tell her what she going to eat, where y'all going to eat it. If y'all going to go out and go have fun, go go to, like, any, an event, you pick the event, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit, like, don't ask her. You pick and you choose and just bring her along. You know what I'm saying? Because just look at it this way, bro. Women, they're designed to multitask. And us men, we are not. We can multitask. Some of us are talented like that. But for the most part, we not programmed to do that. We programmed to do one thing and then just... You know what I'm saying? Complete that test and then go on to the next test. You know what I'm saying? Without having to do too many things at one time. Because it'll become overwhelming for us. We won't be able to focus. We might get irritated. We might get frustrated about something. Whatever the case may be. You following me? You following along? So, like, a lot of women these days, they are multitasking on a daily, bro. On a daily. Day in, day out. Especially the single, hardworking women. They are multitasking, especially the ones that are single mothers, too, on top of that. You did. So picture you having to multitask every single day, juggle a whole lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Mentally, you're going to be exhausted. Correct. Correct. So this is how women feel. So this is why they need a man to step up to the plate and make decisions and think for them. You know what I'm saying? Tell them what they're going to eat. Tell them where they're going to go. Tell them what to wear. Like, if a woman asks you how she, how she should wear her hair, she wear, if she should like wear, like, straight, curly, or how she should get her nails done, tell her how you want them done. You know what I'm saying? She's asking you for a reason. Don't be like how other niggas would, like, Oh, oh, yeah. hey, it don't matter. Just uh, do whatever you feel, whatever you think looks best. I don't do that. Tell her what you want. Tell her, tell her how to wear it and tell her what to wear. Because at the end of the day, you training her. You training her to be yours, and you training her how to how to how to impress you, how to entice you. You training her how to be yours. You know what I'm talking about? So you gonna have to learn how to make decisions for her. All types of decisions. Women, women don't want to think, bro. I mean, they do, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, bro, they want a man that can lead and control them. You know what I'm saying? They, they just, they just want to be there. You know what I'm talking about? They just want to, they just want to get dick down. They want to be treated right. You know what I'm talking about? And they want to be told what to do. You also need to tell a woman. Wait, before I even go any further, you have to build a good rapport with women. You have to be great at building a connection with women. You have to be great at building a connection with women. You have to make them feel comfortable with you, bro. From the moment that they meet you, you have to make them feel comfortable. And you have to be able to gain their trust. You know what I'm saying? Making them feel comfortable is gaining their trust. You know what I'm saying? And you can get them to open up. And they'll become submissive to you. They'll respect you. You know what I'm saying? So... If you want a woman to be able to listen to you, be submissive to you, and, 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 and all this type of shit, bro, you have to build a good connection, a good rapport with her, and you have to earn her respect, bro. You know what I'm saying? Respect is earned. That shit not given. You know what I'm saying? And you have to be a real, you have to be a real stand-up guy. You have to be firm. And whenever you tell her to do something, you have to tell her to do it with confidence. You have to tell her to do it with with, 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 with swag. You know what I'm talking about? You should be in your bag anyway. And you have to be seductive about it. You have to be seductive with it. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you have to be controlling and you have to be authoritative. You have to be the authority to her. And you have to do all of this in a seductive way. Tell her what to do in a seductive way confident, strong way. Everything that you do, be seductive about it. This is what builds attraction. Women love to be seduced. You know what I'm saying? She ain't gonna be with a nigga that she 
that she don't find attractive, that she, you know what I'm saying, that she don't feel seduction by. You know what I'm talking about? So whenever you tell her what to do, whenever you tell her to make decisions, make sure you do it in a confident, strong, seductive way. And another thing, whenever you tell her to do something or how to move, how to think, explain to her as to why she needs to move this way. Explain to her as to why she needs to think this way. Like, hey, say, babe, like, we'll, we'll, we'll do it this way because it'd be better if you do it this way for point A, point B, point C reason. Because if you go about it this way, this could happen. And these are the consequences or these are the things that could go wrong or these are the things that, you know what I'm talking about, etc., etc., etc. You have to explain, you know what I'm talking about. And she'll listen to you based on the trust that you've done built with her. You know what I'm talking about? So, I mean, at the end of the day, bro, you just you just need to be strong and confident, bro. And you have to be leading, bro. You have to be you have to be leading. Your charisma, your charisma has to be up to par. Work on your confidence, work on your charisma. You know what I'm talking about? And this is the key to controlling a woman's mind. Like, you have to have all of this intact. If you don't have this intact, there's no way that you can control this woman's mind. Whenever you control this woman's mind, man, I'm telling you, like, y'all gonna have the best relationship. You know what I'm talking about? And, like, when I say relationship, like I say in all my other videos, I mean the interaction, the connection that y'all got between each other, not, not a specific commitment. Being committed to one is different than being, a, being or having a relationship with somebody, in my eyes. You know what I'm talking about? That's the way that I look at it. The way you look at it might be different, but that's the way I look at it, bro. Um, really, to be honest, it's really not too much more I could really say. They really just want a man that can control them because if you can't control a woman, she will become out of hand, bro. She will get out of hand with you, and she will test you, and she will, she will cross boundaries and cross lines and disrespect you and all types of things so that's why it's very important for you to be able to be controlling because if you're controlling or if you're able to control her mind she respects you bro and she won't step over you she won't treat you like no simp she won't treat you like shit she won't treat you like none of that you know what i'm talking about like women are attracted to men that can manipulate them and can like you know what I'm saying? Trigger their emotions. You know what I'm talking about? If you ain't seen any of my videos, bro, go check out all of my videos, bro. But say, that rest of this video, bro. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm gone.